Okay, next I'm going to talk about bilateral vestibular loss. This, this is an uncommon condition in which both ears are damaged simultaneously, most frequently from a, uh, a toxic drug such as genomycin, which is the most common uh, reason for bilateral loss. So in order to understand uh, the symptoms of this, uh, we have to think again about how the, uh, the inner ear is uh, hooked up to the brain. And so here I, I have my model that shows one ear, but there's actually another ear too. And so normally we've got one on each side and we've got one on the other. And so the, the two ears, which I'm just going to put up my fist and you can pretend that they're ears, whenever you turn your head, one ear is stimulated and the other one is inhibited. So another one, one goes up, one goes down. And then the brain looks at the difference between the two and figures out how fast you're turning. <clears throat> and it uses that to drive the eyes equal and opposite. <clears throat> so normally then when you turn your head, you turn your head to the right, the right ear is stimulated, the left ear is inhibited. The, the difference is computed in the brain and it drives the eyes opposite and equal to the head. And so that when I turn my head, I can still read because every time I turn my head to the right, my eyes move to the left, my eyes remain still in space and I can see. So in bilateral vestibular loss, that system's gone. And so when you turn your head, nothing goes up or down, it just stays zero. So when you turn your head, your eyes move with your head. And so it's just as if your eyes are painted on your head, like a doll's eyes, in other words. The less sophisticated dolls, the newer dolls, now the eyes move when you turn the head. But the, but the, um, so in bilateral vestibular loss, then, um, when people move their head, then their eyes move with them. And so that means that whenever their head's in motion, they can't see. And so the world blurs every time they turn their head. And so they're in big trouble when they're just walking down the street because when they're walking down the street, their head's moving up and down, and their eyes should be moving up and down too, but they don't, and so they can't recognize people on the street. They have to stop and hold their head still and figure out who it was. Or they have trouble driving because as they go up and down over a bumpy uh, surface, so when they're driving, then the car is going up and down like this, and their eyes are going up and down with the car, so everything is blurring when they drive. and so. Uh, they have more issues with, with driving. So bilateral vestibular loss um, uh, has these two cardinal symptoms then. One is, is what I've been talking about, which is called oscillopsia, which means that the, the world moves when you, when you move your head. And the second problem they have is imbalance. And it's because when they, they tilt forward or backward, they don't know that they're tilting forward or backward because they have no input from their ears that tells them. <clears throat> 